a mushroom French bread pizza. Here we have a pound of mushrooms. I used my talkie. These are hen of the woods is another term for them. Okay, really meaty flavored butter. They look like butterfly wings to me, like these little fluttery, you just shred them with your hands. And some cremini. You can use any mix of mushroom you like. The important part is, taking the mushrooms to this level before you add salt, which we're gonna do now. Salt and pepper. I'm then going to add shallot, or you could use half of a small onion, sure. So we're gonna add shallot, and we're gonna add a little chopped garlic. And we're gonna add some fresh thyme, good sprinkle, and save a little for the top of the pizza for a little garnish, okay? So I'm just gonna let the garlic and shallot sway out of there. Now we're gonna do some fun stuff with that sauce. I'm gonna take a little flour, just a tiny sprinkle across the pan, okay? And we're going to basically make a cream of mushroom topping. A little sprinkle of flour, and then a splash of sherry or white wine, either or. Or you could use stock, vegetable stock if you like. Sherry or white wine, nice slow turn of the pan, and let that absorb fully. And then of course, obviously, cream. Cream, half and half, even whole milk would be fine. Ooh. Ooh. Two passes back and forth, and then we let that thicken up and get delicious. And then we have our cream mushroom topping. So each tray that I have here has one large loaf of your like regular grocery store variety, super large soft French bread, not a super crunchy baguette. So each French bread will give you, will yield four French bread pizzas. You have it horizontally and across, okay? And then I lightly toasted it in the oven. And I mean, you can see there's no color on this, but it's nice and firm. We want it to be toasted lightly so it stands up and doesn't fall apart once we put our toppings on. I put the mushrooms, I spread them out over the one loaf or four pizzas for our French bread pizza fest that we're having here. And now I'm putting on an equal combo of mozzarella cheese and Gruyere. So I do center oven about 450, because everything's cooked and all we're trying to do is melt the cheese. So we'll just pop these in there for a few minutes. Okay. Wow. 